Thank you for staying with us thus far. Um, we're winding down now gradually. On an independence episode, please. You have to underscore that. Yes. And we have with us a singer, songwriter, and music producer. He began music professionally in 2010 when he released his debut single, Omoyele. The name of our guests this morning is Kent. Good morning. Good morning, man. Thank you for joining us. It's a pleasure. Um, there was a video of you before this, before you actually arrived. Okay. And you were looking very sad. Mm -hmm. And you, it was a song about your love. Okay, that's a more, That's the song I released 2010. Why were you looking so sad? Yeah, because I was missing my Moyeli. <laughs> and then you found her. I found her. <laughs> And I married her. <laughs> Thanks be to God. <laughs> is that in the act or is it that acting or for real? Is oh, you, oh. Both acting and real. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. There you are. There you are. Yeah. yeah. Looking very sad. Oh. Mm. Okay. Now, mainly what you do now is soundtracks, right? Yeah. Not just soundtracks. I, I do music. I, I refer to myself as a music maker because um, there are so many things that, um, that I have in me that I'm still exploring, that I'm still giving out. So from singing, making, making music generally. So I produce, I sing, I write, I compose for, for movies, for any occasion, and I do live performances as well. Okay, you say you're still exploring. Yeah. That means you're still discovering yourself. Yeah. Well, we discover ourselves every day. Okay. So what are you finding as you are exploring? Ah, well, I think um, I'm, I'm beginning to see the, the, the actor side of me. Oh. Yeah. So, There's a bit of acting there somewhere, yeah, too. Somewhere, yeah. Somewhere. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so we expect to see you in Kunle Afalayo's uh, movie anytime soon. Or are you in one sure. already? Uh, uh, Which yeah, hasn't been I, released. I featured in um, Citation. I did a cameo in Citation, Kulia Falayo's movie. I think he released them last year. Um, and I'm also open to, op open to do some auditions as well. So, you know, let, let me try my hands on that as well. <laughs> okay, there's this one on the screen. What, what, what's, what's this one? Okay, so oh, that's Roti. This, that's Roti. Yeah, okay. that's Roti. Roti is, um, Roti is a, it's a, uh, it's a thriller. Um, I think a lot of people have watched, watched it. It's a film about, um, you know, there's this um, myth about um, uh, reincarnation in mm. the society. So mm. some of us, some people still don't believe, some people believe. So the film talks about um, the possibility. Could it be real? Roti. Okay. Well, uh, we could go on and on about that one, especially since it's right uh, behind me. Mm. But, um, you know, you've worked with Kunle Afolai on a number of... Um, or projects definitely what's the relationship okay for me i i think we we connect we connect in terms of our um our ideology um for example is is hell-bent on everything that has to do with african is is sense for african and culture is is just up there and for me i, I growing up i i grew up in a family whereby we 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 are deep rooted in African culture. We, my 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 mother, my mother, my father, they, they taught us the, the African way. So everything about African, I I find it very fascinating. You know, from our dress dress sense, um, our culture, our music, you know, our style, every our food. So so, and I think things. Uh, I think that was what brought us together because um, when he heard my music. He, he immediately reached out, and um, of course, I've been longing to work to work with him. So that connection just, you know, it just ignited, and we started doing things together way back from 2016 up to now. We're still working together. Yeah. So, what is a computer scientist doing <laughs> in music? Ah. <laughs> <laughs> well, music for me has has always been it's a gift. It, I, I I really I I can't say I I didn't learn music from anywhere. 
I didn't learn production from anywhere. I didn't learn how to play the instrument from anywhere. I, 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 thought, oh. I taught myself how to play all those things. And, um, Which instruments do you play? I play the piano, I play the bass, I play the guitar, I play the drums. Um, I, I play the, um, <laughs> the African, the talking drum, Yal, uh, Omele, Gongon. And I'm also trying to, 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 to lay my hands on violin. And, and you also play the microphone. Yeah, I play the microphone. <laughs> but, you know, answer that question. How did you, you know, so, segue? <laughs> so the thing is, music has always been a th a, the, the thing for me right from, right from childhood. But so why didn't you just go and study music then? Why yeah. computer science? The thing is, <laughs> there is this, you know, there is this myth in our, in our culture, in, in the society that uh, uh, you have to study either, you have to be either an engineer or um, doctor. a doctor. Or a lawyer. Yeah, mm -hmm. so, so growing up, I knew that music was what I wanted to do. I knew that music was it for me, but the fear of, oh, I don't want to disappoint my parents, my siblings, oh, they think I should be this, I should, okay. Okay, what do I, what next, aside from music, do I have flair for? Mm. Okay, gadget, okay, computer, okay, let me go and study. But even at that, even while I was studying, it was still music for me. So mm. it got mm. to a point that I had to tell myself, okay, you know what? I've had enough. Let me follow my dream, and I've never regretted it. Okay, yeah, but I'm sure computer science is also helping you with your music. Of course, of course, because you have to, right now, um, music production has gotten to, to this level where everything is almost all computerized. Digital. Digital, yeah. yeah. So you have to yeah. be vast, you have to, you know, be, you have to be updated. There are mm. so many softwares and upgrades coming up mm. every day. And yeah, if you want to remain at the top, if you want to still be relevant, you have to, you know, upgrade yourself and... Look, let me fly a kite here. Yeah. You know, a partner commented on your attire yeah. when you came in. So, I don't know, this might shock you a little as well. So, I'm just imagining 20 years from now, 30 years from now, um, the MD of a bank walks into his office with this attire. <laughs> <laughs> That is far-fetched. <laughs> well, you see, for, for me, me... So, sorry, my, my, okay, the, okay. the question there is, um, it's becoming... You, you may have noticed as well, I'm sure you have, it's becoming increasingly difficult to get young people to dress formal, so to speak, you mm -hmm. know, but as opposed to, you know, dressing casual and still producing excellently brilliant idea, ideas and products and services and everything that they offer. Mm -hmm. What does it do to the mind when you wear African? Okay, so when I, me, let me, I'm going to answer the question from my own point of view. So I, I you see- You can't my, take my point of view, actually. <laughs> <laughs> so for, for, for me, I take my dressing as part of my tools okay. for working because um, it, it, it helps me create. It helps me create it. It, it, it puts me in, in, in that sphere where I can, I can dig deep. I, 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 I don't have to feel like I'm, I'm constrained. Yeah, constrained. So I just, you know, get right. The ideas just come. It comes. And I think a lot of people, even our society, I think we need to start looking at it, even in the corporate world as well. Because, okay, you, you work in a bank, you have to put on a suit and a tie. Okay, that, that's a culture that belongs to a certain society. So why can't we work in a bank, yeah, but still put on your buba and shokoto from Mondays to Friday? Why can't you, why can't you work in... Then you have to be formal. Form, okay, so formal, why, why don't you, why can't you use your, your, African, your African style to be formal? Why can't we do that? I mean, we don't, we don't have to box ourselves. In, 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 in a culture that, that isn't ours. Well, you're an artist. <laughs> <laughs> so I am so not surprised you are, you are thinking the way you are thinking. And okay. As an artist, you take all kinds of liberties. Liberty, yes. Mm. And you mix all kinds of colors. You can wear English shirt with uh, Kembe yeah. trousers <laughs> made in Adir, silk adire. <laughs> That's allowed. Okay, yeah, sure. But and you can get away with it. Because you're an artist. Mm. Not a banker. Not a banker. Yes. Not an engineer. But we are humans. 
a law can come into the or we we can decide to do what we want to do at the end of the day nobody's going to hold us to it we don't have artists all of not all of us have artists liberty <laughs> <laughs> okay um you, you have a peculiar you know style of singing yeah uh Tell us about your genre of music. I would liken it to the a, a, a beautiful Nubia kind of song, uh, an Asha, Asha kind of song. Yes. Uh, what's the lady who did Ifebi um, Ejiwuro? Alison, Shola Alison Shola Alison kind of song. What, what's what would you call your own genre? Okay, so my my my, my genre is, is 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 a fusion of of the African sound. And um, and jazz and western the western sound, but creating a balance to it. Um, growing up, I, I I grew up in in in, in a white gamin church, and um, you know the white gamin church were, they are heavily you know rooted in the African rhythm and sound. And my my parents they, they really helped in 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 bringing in bringing that side of me because all they listened to them was the barista. Uh, I love Maura. My dad loved I love Maura and um, I don't know Shola. So, so I grew up listening to those sounds and those music. So it's it's right in there. So when of course growing up and you have to you know move with the trend, you have the Justin Bieber's of this of this world and, and the rest. So but then in creating a balance to making your sound or making my sound acceptable to the society, yet still retaining that um, root and that um, originality. So it's a blend of both. Mm. So what would you call it? So I would call it Afrocentric. 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 Okay. Um, we, we should have to let you go in a little while, but there are many other people making music. Yeah. Um, some make music and pattern it after their most loved songs, okay. uh, which could be foreign or local. In in vision casting or in branding yourself, if you would advise anyone who is just about getting into the into music. mainstream music, who's been doing music, you know, in the bathroom, in the choir yeah. and all of that, in, in terms of creating a brand of music for yourself, what would be your guiding counsel? Okay, so uh, I would say sustainability. You, you, need to know, you need to know your strength. You need to know what works for you, where your strength lies, then you plug yourself in it. If, for example, if um, jazz is what works for you, plug yourself in there. If, 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 if it's hip-hop, plug yourself in it. Because at the long run, it's about sustainability. You don't want to do what, you are, you, what you, you, you're not strong at. You want to, do, you want to, you want to re stay where you know that, okay, in the next 20, 25, 30 years, you can still function at the same cap at even at a higher capacity. So that's what I, I would. That's the advice I would give anybody. But while that is g given, if I love rap and the environment I'm in is not so given to rap, I will be lost. Do you know, one thing about music is a lot of people make that mistake. But the truth is, there is market for every music. There is market for every music. That's one thing I've discovered. A while ago, I met um, a, I, I met an artist in uh, in Mexico. Uh, his name is Andre, and um, he does salsa. So you could you could take your music here. There's a song I did for for Citation. He heard the song and he reached out. It's it's a pure salsa. I had to learn how to how to speak um, um, Portuguese to, to to sing the song. He heard the song and he said, "This you sound so much like like a Portuguese. How did you do?" It? I said, "Oh." I went through this process and we became friends. So that music, I can take it to, 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 to that environment and monetize and sell and make money. Good. So someone in, you know, in right here in Nigeria would think, oh, how is he making money? But I'm making money somehow. Okay. So somewhere else. Yes. No, but yeah. still on, not on that making money because I was going to, I, I needed to ask a question along that line. I just didn't know how. Yeah. Now that you have given me how. Yeah. <laughs> um, Making money from music. Yeah. Uh, many people do show business and focus more on the show and know little or nothing about the business. Mm -hmm. Now, it's, it, there are two completely different things. Yes. But uh, sometimes if you focus a little too much on the business, you lose the, your vivacity for the show. Yes. Yes. So 
how do you get the balance, especially at a time when many people believe we do not have an industry as such, we don't have, you know, we, we just have people who want, just want to do music because they love to do music. And, of course, you can't just do music and give your song to the landlord and say, that's your rent. Yes. So, so um, there's this, you, you need to have a team. Most artists, most creatives, I, I, I'm not going to lie to you, most, I'm not saying all, but most creatives, they are, they are always lost in their craft. Like mm -hmm. all they think, they wake up in the morning, all they think is, oh, I have this new idea, I want to create. Yeah. I have this new idea, I want to create. Money is never Money, enough. yes. So before you know it, they, they get to their 30s, 40s, 50s, and they still don't make the money, then they end up get, being frust frustrated. Mm -hmm. So what you need to do is you can't do everything alone. You need to have a team. You need to, you need to have a lawyer. You need to have um, someone who would hand you, handle your finance. You need to have someone who would a, a marketer. You need to you need you need to have someone who would help you say, okay, you want to create, fine, no no problem. But de this is an opportunity. Create something into this opportunity so we can monetize mm -hmm. for you. Okay, mm -hmm. that's it. You have been. Mm -hmm. Teleguided, sort of. <laughs> <laughs> so that you are not a hungry old man. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. Right? You have to have a solid retirement plan. <laughs> exactly. Okay, then. Thank you very much, Kent Enunjobi. Thank, thank you, you for very much me. for coming. Thank you for having me. And give our warm regards to Kunle Afalayo. Sure, I actually will. Great.